I would definitely have to say that one of the characters that I'm looking forward to the most in Star Wars Episode 9 has got to be the character of Kylo Ren, since J.J. Abrams will be taking him down a far darker path in this movie and will be offering a lot of twists and turns that are connected to the character. This is Mike Zero. If you guys are new to the channel, do make sure to subscribe to see future Star Wars content. Now, we do know that a part of some of the script rewrites and the adjustments that parts of The Last Jedi are being retconned by J.J. Abrams and changed, if you will, to better suit the story of Star Wars Episode 9. Now, these past couple of weeks or so, we've been learning a whole lot more about this film when it comes to some of the set leaks, the set designs, the concept art and storyboard descriptions, etc. Now, one of which has all to do with a moment between both Rey and Kylo Ren. Specifically, a description of both Kylo Ren and Rey face to face with ignited lightsabers in the middle of a battlefield. It's described that the sequence is based within the third act of the film, where Kylo Ren holds a secret of Rey's lineage and her identity, and eventually delivers a certain truth to Rey in the middle of their fight. However, it's described that Kylo only knows a piece to the puzzle of her lineage and or her identity. However, the truth delivered to Rey will create a major impact on her emotions and provokes her to attack Kylo Ren. So I really want to go over a couple of parts about this, and this most definitely falls directly in line with J.J. Abrams' plan to retcon parts of, of course, Episode 8, The Last Jedi. Now, we do know that they are treating this script with great care, both himself and, of course, Chris Terrio. They're really trying to do amazing things with this movie in order to really truly make it resonate with fans around the world. So the one thing that really stands out to me personally when it comes to both Kylo Ren and Rey is how Kylo Ren does indeed know a certain truth about her lineage slash her identity that he has been keeping away from her or he actually learned about in between the events of, of course, The Last Jedi and The Force Awakens. Or should I say The Last Jedi and, of course, Episode 9. So within that time frame, we got like roughly a year in between those two movies that Kylo Ren could have learned about her identity and or her true lineage that he's keeping, you know, pretty much a big secret from the character of Rey that he's going to be using that as a way to provoke her to attack and give in to her anger. Perhaps a way in order to turn her to the dark side of the force maybe? I'm not quite sure. But moving on forward from all of this, it really seems like J.J. Abrams is trying to retcon the moment in which Kylo Ren delivered the truth to Rey in Snoke's throne room that their parents, all right, her parents were nobody. Her father is dead and buried on, on a Jakku desert, you know, and they were basically junk traders who sold her off for drinking money. That's what Kylo Ren actually knew about Rey's parents, and that's what he delivered to her, and she actually came to terms with it. She was just pretty much hiding it away from her mind. So, the whole entire situation here, we do know that John Williams once said before in a podcast that he just does not believe in that at all. He doesn't buy it that Rey's parents are nobody and that she is a nobody. He didn't buy the throne room scene at all between those two characters. So, episode 9 is really and definitely going to be retconning that moment with this secret that Kylo Ren knows about Rey's identity. So, we do know that this movie is going to pretty much put a lot of our characters through various tests once more, such as Kylo Ren, Rey, and of course Poe and Finn, the four main characters, right? The actual four main main characters in episode 9 will be going through a series of tests in this movie. So about this sequence, this most definitely takes place in the middle of their lightsaber duel sequence on a battlefield. Now this battlefield that we have been hearing about for so very long now is most likely the planet that we have been hearing about that is based within the unknown regions. So this would be the first lightsaber duel in the unknown regions on film in Star Wars history as to why I believe it's going to make a big historical moment for Star Wars as a whole is because we are actually being taken over to a part of the galaxy that we have never seen before on the big screen. And I think that's rather exciting. I think that's very fascinating by JJ in Chris Terrio to be doing such an amazing, you know, thing like that. We can also see that JJ Abrams is trying to test the character of Rey and see exactly exactly how she would react to a certain truth that is going to be revealed by Kylo Ren. Again, this could absolutely be an attempt by Kylo Ren to the point where he knows the truth about Rey, her true lineage, her actual, you know, identity, and will be using that to his own advantage in order to get her very angry and pretty much tune in to the dark side of the Force. Now, I don't know if you guys think that would be a brilliant idea by JJ for Kylo Ren to basically tell her the truth about her identity, or at least 
least a part of it because he only knows a part of it apparently, right? Only a piece to the puzzle here, not the whole entire picture. So he's going to deliver a certain truth to her and that's actually going to provoke her. It will provoke her to attack. That is a big signal that she is giving in to the dark side of the force perhaps kind of like similar to what we saw at the very end of Return of the Jedi. You can see the parallel here, by the way, where Darth Vader says to Luke Skywalker, you know, uh, he's talking to her about his sister. He's talking to her, him about his sister, uh, Leia. You know, he's saying, you know, if you won't join the dark side, perhaps she will. And that's when Luke Skywalker snaps. So this could very well be like a reverse scenario of that in this movie. Anyways, guys, drop a comment below. Let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.